Another way to calculate NPV in Excel is to actually do it manually. So what you'll see here, we've got our cash flows. And what I want to know is what is that amount worth in today's terms? And we're going to create a factor. Now to create a factor, you can either go and use your mathematical formula, or if you think about what it's doing, what we're saying is 8,700 in a year's time, what is it worth today? Well, guess what, there's a function in Excel called PV, which does exactly that. What is the present value of a number? So when I say OK, you'll see it asks the question. So the first one is, what's the rate? I'm going to use our 30%. How many periods? So I could type in one, because I know it's period one. But I'm going to rather link it up to this header here, because I want to be able to copy it across. What's the payment? Not relevant. What's the future value? We could go directly to this one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a one in. So what I want to know is, what is one worth in today's terms? What's the type? I'm just going to put a zero. When I say OK, you'll see it immediately goes negative. Let's just increase the decimals. So I'm just going to get that to be a factor like that. Just must be careful here. I've just forgotten to put the dollar signs on this rate. So now what should happen is I can copy this across. And you'll see each of these is now giving us what that factor is for an amount of one, two years later, three years later, four years later, etc. I can also do it for the current one because an amount zero years later just effectively ignores the discount. Now that we've got that, it's just a case of saying equals whatever the factor is multiplied by our cash flow. And I can copy and paste it. And what you'll see is these numbers when you add them up, 9805, 9805. So this is a manual way of doing it. The benefit of this way is you can actually see how important each year is by looking at these factors. So it's quite nice in the sense that you can see that five years time for every dollar or rand, it's only worth 27 cents. So perhaps you should spend more time focusing on these numbers. The other benefit is for something called mid-year discounting. So what happens if we know that this money we're not going to receive at the end of the year? We'll probably achieve it or receive it during the year. So as an average, I'm going to say we don't we receive it kind of halfway through the year on average. So I'm going to put a 0.5 there. You'll notice I've set the formulas up. You had to immediately go 0.5, 1.5, etc. Notice that immediately my factor changes, my number changes, and now suddenly these cash flows are worth 13,983, which is significantly more than the 9,805 because we are receiving our cash a full six months earlier every year.